I barely got away from the hot five and the girls. I feel like I've gone through heaven and hell in a mere few minutes. I feel dizzy going through all this mess. But I'm still worried. And plus I'm made. I'm glad he saved me, but why I'm made? As I blame tape for that embarrassing word. I arrived at the classroom. I feebly opened the door. I couldn't help but sigh while opening the door. <sighs> 어머, 안녕하세요. 나 몰래 메이드로 전직하신 내 친구님이 오셨네. So I grinned and came towards me. It wasn't even a couple of minutes since the fuss at the gate, but sure enough, so he didn't disappoint me. A sure talent in this information age. Where does she get all this from? Hey guys. 안녕. 아침부터 고생이 많았어. <laughs> I'm doomed. Save me. 난 척? 살려줘? <laughs> 부럽기만 하구만. 유리 선생님의 에스코트를 받으면서 리무진에서 내리고 그 후엔 테이 선배에게 감사 인사를 받은 네가 할 말은 아니지. So it's not wrong. Anyone would be jealous of how I come to school. They won't know how horrible it is until they go through it. 왕큼한 건. 핫파이브에게 도움을 주었다고는 말했지만 매일같이 그 집에 가서 일을 해주고 있다는 이야기는 없었잖아. 핫파이브와 가까운 사이라는 건 그때 네 얘기를 듣고 납득했어. 하지만 네가 핫파이브가 사는 집에 가서 허드렛 일을 하고 있다니 완전 충격이야. So I dramatically pretended to freak out and continued. Of course she's freaking out because of jealousy. 자, 어서 해명해 보시지. 배신자 메이드 친구님. How did I betray you? 어디까지 본 거야? 빨래를 네가 한다면 역시. 아 부럽다. What are you thinking, you perv? 가끔 욕실 앞에서 어색하게 마주쳤을지도 몰라. 바로 그거야. 아 부러워서 견딜 수가 없. Calm down. The shimbi don't put fuel on fire. 제대로 나한테 설명해. 이렇게 소문으로 듣게 하지 말고. 대체 어떻게 된 거야? 자세히 말해봐. All right, I'll explain. So calm down. It's hard for me too. I raised both my hands and surrendered. And a moment later, I explained everything to Soyeon Shimbi. Of course, it was exactly as they said. I can't tell you the real truth. Sorry, friends. 그러니까 선배네 부모님한테 부탁을 받아서 네가 대신 허드렛 일을 해주고 있다 이 말이야? Yeah. 밥이나 빨래를 해주는 대가로 유리 선생님이 널 차에 태워주는 거고? Yeah. Are they not falling for it? I mean, they did make it up on the spot, so it's not the most logical explanation. And besides, a maid? It's the 21st century. Even I think that's a bit off. I should have come up with a better explanation. Hmm? They believe it? 하긴 아무 연구도 없이 타국에서 살기에는 여러 가지 문제점이 많지. 에이, 나한테 도와달라고 했으면 내가 친절하게 도와드렸을 텐데. So I said as if she'd do anything to be me right now. But they were still worrying for me, so I relaxed. Thank God. Shimbi looked at me with worry. 근데 말이야 사정은 알겠는데 그렇다고 메이드가 뭐냐 메이드가 
물론 우리말에 서툴러서 그렇게 표현한 거겠지만 남들이 보면 진짜 입주 가정부인 줄 알고 오해하겠다 뭐 네가 눈에 확 띄지는 않지만 그렇다고 메이드처럼 생겼다는 말이 나오면 친구로서 속상하단 말이야 Look like a maid? Who says? Come to think of it, I think I heard the girls talking about my looks earlier. Ah, uh, this society is just too obsessed with looks. What you do when your looks aren't related? I feel resentment for some reason. 지금 애들이 너에 대해 얼마나 떠들고 있는 줄 알아? 걱정이다. I smiled awkwardly at what Zoe said. Thanks to taste spontaneity, I've become a school celebrity. Well, actually, this is all Yuri's fault. I have no idea why he suddenly wanted to get out of the car together. If Yuri hadn't suddenly pulled me out of the car, this would have never happened. Let's just think about going home safely today. Ah. 그렇게 해서 땅이 꺼지겠니? 더 크게 해야지. 이렇게. Chokdangi <laughs> 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 he. But the classroom is kind of quiet. I looked around and found less students than usual. Oh, come to think of it, it must be because Lance and Yona aren't here yet. Lance is busy as the discipline guide, but where is Yono? Is he still stuck in that crowd? They left Yono to get me, so I'm worried about him. No, why are you Huh? Oh, it's nothing. Ah, right. Do you have a smartphone? Huh? Why? Twinter라는 재미있는 앱을 설치해주려고. Twinter. Twinter? 역시 모를 줄 알았어. 휴대폰 이리 줘봐. 내가 설치하는 거 도와줄게. Download what? In here? 앱을 다운 받아서 설치할 수 있어. Oh, really? 역시 예상대로 전화랑 문자밖에 사용 안 하고 있었군. So I reached out to take my phone. Huh? Along with the bell, Lance and Yono walked into the classroom looking tired. But I'm glad Yono's at least safe. Come to think of it, Yono got off the limo first today. Seeing them sit down and prepare for class, I wondered if the limo is really more comfortable than the bus. Hey, swap stuck in there. So I glimpsed at Lance and Yono and went back to her seat. She looked like she had something to say, but she didn't. Well, she knows everything she needs to know, so... All about the limo and the maid. I definitely should think again about taking the limo to school. A teacher came into the classroom. I should focus on the lecture for now. Ah, it's done. The teacher is going to go to the test in the exam. I don't know anything about it. How can I do this test in this test? The class stirred as the teacher mentioned that the exams will start soon. For this exam, I want to give up. It's going to be so much harder than the last one. I sighed and plopped down on my desk. I'm already in pain and exams are coming too. I soon heard other students leave in the classroom. They must be going to the cafeteria for lunch. I'm going to go to the diet. You're still exercising? I looked at Soy sitting in front of me and asked. Soy always runs around the playground with Shimbi saying she's on a diet. 
I understand that Zoe's on a diet, but I don't know why Shimbi joins her. In the afternoon, she always eats strawberry milk. Eats strawberry milk and creamy bread. 운동하고 나서 빵을 사러 가면 덜 분벼. There's no point in being on a diet then. Um, but where's Yona? I look by my side, but I don't see Yona. 있을 리가 있냐? 늘 그렇듯이 병아리는 종치기가 무섭게 애들한테 끌려 나갔어. Ha. I see. Yona's especially popular with the girls. I felt kind of proud to see my doll be so loved. Then, what is Lance doing? I turned around and found Lance, still on his desk, reading his notes. Hey, Lance, you're not going to lunch? Lance replied without lifting his eyes from his notes. Then closed his notes and suddenly stood up. Why? Where are you going? <laughs> if you don't want to say, fine. <laughs> I was kind of sullen at his coldness. I was just treating him comfortably, like at home, since no one was around. Does it have to be so cold when we are outside the house? Oh. Okay. I'll make sure you eat, though. I added after peering at So and Shinbi. Lance hesitated a bit and nodded. Then, I'm going to go. Hi. You're not just a maid, you're After seeing the door close, So I mumbled as if teasing me. No. Yeah, just tease me. Go ahead. Uh, I'm now getting teased with a weirder title because of Lance's cold attitude. This is all Yuri's fault. Thanks to Whimsical Soy, we left the classroom together 10 minutes later. Can she give up so easily like that after declaring to lose weight? I headed to the cafeteria thinking Zoe really knows how to rationalize. They'll probably only have the unpopular kinds of bread right now. That's not a meal. Hmm? Uh, this voice. I was about to object to Shimbi's choice for lunch when I heard a familiar voice from behind. I instinctively turned around. Hi, Mr. Yujin. How can he be so blunt? Mr. Yujin looked down and almost ordered me. What? Um, but. I have something very important to take care of, called lunch. What? Tell me again. Ugh. I saw his eyes glare behind those glasses of his. No. Okay, I'll go. I ended up slouching my shoulders and followed Mr. Yujin. I could see Shinbi and Soi pretending to wipe away their tears and wave. Nothing's working out today. I don't feel good about the rest of the day. Mr. Eugene? Where are we going? This isn't the way to the infirmary. Huh? Then where are we going? Gyomun. Why to the gate? Beatrice Delivered? To the gate? I felt more nervous. Mr. Eugene, what's all this? 
I lost words at what was piled in front of me. Mr. Eugene clicked his tongue at seeing me so flustered. 아까 내가 말한 걸 잊었나? 자넨 칼슘을 조금 더 섭취해야겠군. 기억력에 문제가 있는 모양이야. 좋아, 다시 알려주지. 이건 나의 사랑스러운 그녀, 베아트리체를 위한 생필품이다. Daily supplies? 그래. I look at the huge mountain in front of me. Boxes of body soap, aroma oil, lubricants, rainbow microfiber towels, mud masks, etc. Excessive amounts of bath supplies were forming a small mountain in front of the gate. The sheer amount shocked me. But the fact that this was all for that one skeleton model shocked me more. This doesn't feel good. There was no one around and it was just me and Mr. Eugene facing the boxes. And what's more, Mr. Eugene had his arms folded and looked relaxed. Then... Does he want me to move all this by myself? Um, but Mr. Eugene... You're not saying I have to take all this to infirmary, are you? Oh god. Mr. Eugen stared towards the infirmary far away. I was so thunderstruck that I yelled out loud. How? How can I carry all this by myself? Besides, why does Beatrice need all this? She only has bones, so all you need is a towel to wipe. 지금 내 앞에서 그녀를 모욕하려는 건가? Oh damn! I covered my mouth in a hurry. Mr. Julian gave me a deathly look. Beatrice는 귀족 가문의 영예다. 태어나는 순간부터 지금까지 항상 이런 대접만을 받고 살아온 아가씨란 말이다. 그런데 지금 뭐라고 했지? 수건이라고? 그것도 대충? Run. Mr. Eugene's voice grew lower. It was so intimidating that I couldn't help but back away. I took a huge step back and said, Haha, <laughs> I wasn't saying that that's what you had to do. I was just saying that there are other ways than giving material things to show your love to Beatrice. Yeah. Something like that. Mr. Eugene shook his head at what I said. This would sound romantic to anyone who hears it. But the problem is that that woman is not what normal people think. Beatrice is a model. A creepy skeleton model. But she's just a model. Morago? Nothing. As Mr. Eugene asked sharply again, I closed my mouth. And I hurriedly grabbed the top box. I was saying she deserves that kind of treatment. <laughs> of course, I have to move all these. Beatrice must be waiting. Amutun, <laughs> 단 하나도 빠짐없이 양호실 옮겨놔야 한다. 나중에 빠진 게 있는지 없는지 다 확인할 거야. Uh, okay. Um, but where are you going? 온천. What? 오늘 배달이 좀 늦는 바람에 아침부터 베아트리치의 기분이 별로 좋지 않아. 언제나 눈부시게 빛나던 광채가 흐릿해졌어. 잠시 그녀를 데리고 온천역이라도 다녀와야겠어. 이대로 두면 그녀가 정말 크게 화를 내고 말 거야. 물론 화를 내는 모습도 아름답지만 말이야. Going to the spa with Beatrice. I just imagined something very creepy. In the middle of steaming springs, Beatrice's white, white bones. Ugh. I get goosebumps just by thinking about it. 
I shook my head, trying to forget that horrible scene. Anyways... Mr. Eugen, can you leave for the spa right now? What if someone gets sick? Mr. Eugen looked at me as if I was asking something stupid. What? That's not what I'm talking about. What do you think about Yang Ho Shi? Eat some food and eat So professional. What? How can they just take whatever they need? It's okay, there's no problem. I've done that for a long time. What? I doubted my ears. I've done that for a long time. If the girls are sick, I'll take care of the drugs. 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 Mr. Jujin calmly walked away. He must not know how shocked and scared I am right now. Uh, I turned around and stared blankly at the pile of boxes in front of me. Uh, what am I gonna do? It doesn't make sense for me to carry out this by myself. But I can't just ignore it and turn away. Mr. Jujin will never forgive me if I do. I sighed and grabbed one of the boxes. I'll be done eventually after a while. Of course, I'm doomed. Mr. Eugen, I'm going to hate you forever. I finished carrying everything and hurried. It was just as I expected. The cafeteria ran out of everything. Um, do you have any bread left? The cafeteria lady shook her head. Guess I'll have to skip lunch and starve today. I slouched my shoulders and headed to the classroom. It was late and classes will start soon. There wasn't even time to go to the convenience store, so I just gave up. Uh, I'm hungry. <coughs> Every time I take a step, I hear my stomach growl. It's my stomach blaming the owner who didn't provide it food. I'm sorry. Just bear with me for a while. After class, I run to the convenience store and stuff something in. Uh. Huh? That's... I was grumbling while walking to the classroom when I stopped abruptly. On the hallway back to the classroom, I saw two familiar people. The woman's our Korean teacher, and the one facing her is Yuri. I saw the Korean teacher starting a conversation with Yuri on the other side of the hallway. The teacher flipped her long hair and talked to him in a high voice. Her nails looked like they were recently done in a salon. Her long, lean fingers were very feminine. If the nails look recently done, they might get caught in her hair if... What? I was feeling a bit disdain towards the teacher for some reason. Hmm? Why am I upset right now? He's just talking with another teacher. I was embarrassed and scratched my head for no reason. She was holding on to a pretty basket in one hand. I couldn't see well, but I guessed it was a gift because of the colorful wrapping. What's inside? Before I knew it, I was focusing on their conversation and forgot my hunger. No, I'm still here. sounded serious, unlike usual. I widened my eyes at the unfamiliar sight. Oh, my friend is still here. Do you think you can eat together? I know it's a good place. The Korean teacher smiled. It was a feminine, soft kind of smile. I don't want to do that, but it's hard to do 
점심시간이 얼마 남지 않았어요. 바로 다음 시간에 수업이 있거든요. 아, 정말 아쉽게 됐네요. 오늘은 제가 포기해야겠군요. 그럼 다음번에 꼭 같이 식사하는 걸로 해요. 네, 죄송합니다. 다음번엔 제가 대접하도록 하죠. <웃음> 그말 기억해둘게요. 아, 맞다. 이거 받으세요. 응? She held out the basket she was holding. 머핀이에요. 아침에 구운 거예요. 바로 다음에 수업 있으시면 제대로 식사도 못 하실 텐데. 이거 드세요. 이런, 이렇게 생각해 주시니 감사합니다. 빈손으로 받아도 되는 건지 모르겠네요. 선생님 드리려고 준비한 건데요, 뭘. 대신 다음번 식사 약속 꼭 잊지 마세요. You didn't elegantly smile and nodded. After that, the other teacher smiled with her eyes and disappeared. Never knew she knew how to smile like that. She's definitely a woman. The click of her heels rang through the hallway. As soon as the clicking disappeared, I came back to my senses. I stopped on my way to class to listen to the conversation. I should hurry back to the classroom. I was heading back to the classroom, but I couldn't forget what I just saw. What? I thought he's always buttery, like he's at home. He actually knows how to talk normally. It was strange to see Yuri so sincere and gentle. He always fools around in front of me. I felt goosebumps climb up my back at remembering what happened this morning. That was a really dangerous moment. Huh? Ah. Ah. I suddenly heard Yuri's voice from behind. I thought he went the opposite way, but we must have headed towards the same direction. I turned around awkwardly and said hello. Oh, um, hi. No, hello, Mr. Yuri. Ah, 그래. 여긴 무슨 일이야? 아, 뭘 사러 온 건가? What? Oh, yes. Came to buy lunch, but. 그런데. Yuri looked at my empty hands. His handsome eyebrows arched as if wondering why. Everything worth eating ran out. I was just about to head back to the classroom. 이런, 점심을 굽는 건안 되지. 자, 이거 받아. Yuri handed me the muffin basket he just received. Uh, no, it's fine. The Korean teacher gave you this. I can't take it. 내가 국어 선생에게 받은 거라는 건 어떻게 알지? 혹시 설마 다 보고 있던 거야? 의외로 은큼한 걸. You just smiled wickedly. He looks pleased for some reason. No, I was just around and happened to hear it. It was a genuine, simple coincidence. 음, 그렇게까지 강조하면 더 수상해지는데. Yuri smiled with his eyes and came towards me. It was completely different from the way he looked at the other teacher earlier. 그렇게 신경이 쓰면 날 부르지 그랬어, darling. 난 네가 부르면 언제든지 달려갈 텐데 말이야. Yuri whispered sweet words. Of course, this perv is going anywhere. That sincere version I saw earlier was long gone. Please stop. I mean, shut up. I looked around and didn't find anyone. I relaxed and treated him comfortably. He wasn't going to listen to me if I'm polite. And you know, other kids can see, so don't do what you just did. 좀전 같은 행동이라니. 내가 뭘? A Korean teacher is a woman too. Girls already misunderstand the way you act, so if they see that. 오해라니? What I mean is, um, they might misunderstand that you like them. Uh, <sighs> Honestly, I always wanted to talk to you about your attitude. If you're always flirty with girls, they might genuinely come to hate you one day, so be careful. 
I don't know what he is thinking when he acts like that. But he doesn't seem to like the Korean teacher. And if he always leaves room for hope like that, he'll definitely be misunderstood. You just slightly frown at my words. 혹시 그거 마이 허니 얘기 아니야? What? You didn't know it. It was ridiculous the way he seemed to think he knew it all. 자세한 이야기를 묻고 싶지만 바뀌니까 참도록 하지. You did whisper into my ears. Just when I was about to tell him that I'm getting goosebumps, he leaned over fast. Smooch? Huh? You did kiss my ear in a flash. What? What is he doing? I hurriedly looked around. Thankfully, no one was passing by. But although no one saw it, we were still out in public. After realizing that, my face turned red with embarrassment. Yuri's face turned strange seeing that. Oh, this is a cute reaction. I had to look for the academy. No, my honey. If you show such a loving face, it's hard to take it easy. Are you really gonna be like this? Ah, I'll see you at home. <웃음> 먼저 그렇게 적극적으로 나와주다니 영광인 걸? 마음의 변화가 생긴 거야? 물론 난 언제든 오케이야. No, stop saying things like that. What if someone hears you? 부끄러워하지 마. 우린 이미 볼거안볼거다본 사이잖아. No, no. My stomach growled while I was shouting out no. There was no way you'd have missed it when it was this loud to me. My face was burning red. <웃음> 아 이런 우리 공주님이 배가 고프신가 보군. Yep, he heard. Ah, so embarrassing. You made me yell. That's why. I was so embarrassed that I couldn't even raise my head. But you did hell up something. 매점에서 아무것도 못 샀다고 했지. 자 이거 받아. You did handed me the muffin basket. Can I really take this? Hmm. Yeah, we can. Hmm. I am hungry, and since he's giving it to me, it's okay, right? All right then, thanks. Let's see, which one should I take? There were several kinds of muffins in the basket Beauty held out. Take the chocolate one. My mouth watered at the sweet scent. I thought for a moment I chose the vanilla flavored one. Wow, she made this herself? I bit into the pretty muffin. The sweet scent spread in my mouth. Hmm. <웃음> 맛있나 보네. 갑자기 눈빛에 생기가 돌아. This is really good. You should try it too. 됐어. 난 네가 먹는 것만 봐도 배불러. 자 이거 다 가져. You handed me the whole basket. In the confusion of the moment, I took it. All this to myself? Are you sure? She made them for you. 방금 전까지 그렇게 먹어놓고선 새삼스럽긴. 왜? 갑자기 미안해져? Well, no, not that. But they are yours now since you took it. I guess it's fine since you're giving it to me. You received these muffins, so there's no need to argue about what he's giving out. I do feel sorry to the Korean teacher. But Yuri gave it to me, so it should be fine. Oh, 그렇단 말이지. Yuri stroked his chin and thought for a moment, and then nodded. Ah, 벌써 점심 시간이 끝났나 보다. 너와 이야기를 하고 있으면 시간 가는 줄 모르겠어. Yuri approached me again and leaned forward to whisper in my ear. 
아무래도 너한테 중독됐나 봐. 어떻게 보고 또 봐도 질리지가 않지? 응? At that moment, I almost swung the basket at him. Saying those buttery words as if they're nothing. Instead of swinging the basket, I pushed him away. 아이쿠, 배가 고픈 달링은 좀 난폭한걸? 뭐, 이것도 괜찮아. 달링이라면 와일드한 것도 매력이 될수 있지. I'll see you at home. If I listen to him more, I'll go crazy for sure. As I clenched my teeth and spoke, Yuri laughed. <웃음> 조심해서 들어가. 배부르다고 수업 시간에 졸면 안 된다. Oh, pretending to be a teacher now. <웃음> 그래도 급료를 받는 입장이니까 일하는 척은 해야 될거 아니야. 안 그래? 그럼 난 이만. 안녕. Yuri waved and winked at me. I just stood there watching Yuri disappear. But my arm got heavy because of the basket and came back to my senses. Yuri wore me out so much I think I'm not in my right mind.